In this English lesson, you are going to learn English phrasal verbs and other terms native English speakers use when talking about driving. And the first English phrasal verb I would like to teach you is gas up. I'm at a convenience store. This is a gas pump. And when you gas up, that means you put as much gas in your gas tank as you can. I have a long road trip ahead of me. It's almost Thanksgiving here in the United States and my son goes to school four hours away from where I live. So that means I have an eight hour round trip ahead of me. A round trip? is when you go there and back. Four hours there, four hours back. An eight hour road trip. And before we go on any long road trip, we need to get snacks. All right, I know not the healthiest, but uh, at least I'm going to have some energy for my long ride. The next English phrasal verb I would like to teach you is buckle up. It's so whenever you put your seatbelt on before you drive, probably always a good idea. I need to buckle up and put on my seatbelt with one hand. I usually teach English one-handed because the other hand is behind the camera. If my hand didn't hold the camera, you wouldn't be able to see me. Uh-oh, roads may be icy. 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That's almost freezing. We have a beautiful sunrise to look at. Actually, the, uh, the temperature is dropping. It's now 27 degrees out. I need one hand to drive, one hand to film, two eyes to see the road, but I think I can show you what a breakfast sandwich looks like. And of course, some wires to charge my phone and AirPods. But do you have breakfast sandwiches in your country? We actually call this a breakfast biscuit. Egg, cheese, some kind of meat in between two buns. It's really good, it's just not good for you. And my mom always taught me to eat with my mouth closed. It's very hard to eat and teach English at the same time. If your windshield gets dirty, and the windshield is that piece of glass in front of the driver. If your windshield gets dirty, you can always wash it off with some windshield washer fluid. Not easy to say. Windshield washer fluid by using the wipers. The wipers are those black things that go back and forth across the windshield. If you find this English lesson helpful, you mind smashing that like button? In the United States, some of the best roads cost money to use. We call that cost a toll, and you pay that money at a toll booth. We also have something called Easy Pass, which I just used. You don't actually have to stop and pay a toll. In fact, there are signs that say, do not stop. The toll will just come out of your electronic account. At the border of each state, there is usually a rest stop. Let's talk about border. What's a border? A border is where one state stops and another one begins. Right now, we are at the border of Maine and New Hampshire. And the rest stop here is actually a liquor store. What about rest stop? Do you know what that is? It's a place along the side of the road where you can stop and rest. And usually to take that rest, you're probably using the bathroom. Unfortunately, I'm here very early and the bathrooms are closed, but they do have something called porta potties. And those are porta potties. Use at your own risk. Luckily, they had hand sanitizer in that porta potty. There was also a lot of graffiti. Somebody who really likes Donald Trump. Most of that graffiti I can't show on this channel. The bathroom needs have been met. Let's hit the road again.
We are now officially in the state of Connecticut and right at the Connecticut border is a little rest area that we will stop at. Do you know what rest areas are good for? Stretching the legs. If you've been sitting for a long time like I have, sometimes standing up and walking around makes you feel a little better and in English we call that stretching the legs. A lot of rest areas in the United States will have picnic areas. Those are places where families might come and have lunch on the side of the road. What about this English phrasal verb, pull off? And I'm actually going to add a preposition in this statement. I just pulled off on the side of the road into this rest area. It's so cold this morning, there's actually a little frost on the grass. That white stuff, ice crystals, we call that frost. There are a lot of birds around this rest area, and you know why? They have bird feeders. There's a little frost out here on this deck. I need to be careful, it's a little slick, which is another way to say slippery, which means if I am not careful, I might slip and fall on this deck. Inside a rest area, you might find vending machines and you might also find brochures. Brochures are little pieces of paper that let you know interesting things in the state. Look at this, there's a river we can visit near the rest area. How peaceful is this place? Just over there is the highway. But if you have the time, you can come down here and take a little rest. I've actually made an English lesson here before at this rest stop. If you would like to see more of that English lesson, there are four parts. I traveled from the state of Maine down to the state of North Carolina. It's about a 18 hour journey. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.